So my big question today is, the swag lost its swagger. In the UK, to get a swag putter in the last three years, you'd have had to have spent over 400, 500 pounds. That just doesn't seem to be the case anymore. There's absolutely no denying that the head covers were absolutely on fire. Probably got to be the best head covers in golf, but got me thinking, are they a head cover company that make putters or a putter company that makes head covers? And the reason I say this is this head cover itself has been on eBay for probably the last two weeks. Not really had that much interest. Now, considering you can't get them in the UK, you'd think that if you haven't got uh, the supply, you'd think there'd be a bit more demand there, especially as the import charges to the UK are massive now, absolutely massive. So with this head cover, with this, with this one and one of 50 blade, there's only one, there's only one of 50 in the whole world on these. Has swag lost its pull? Or is it just because it's the UK? What do you guys think? I like swag more than the next person. I'm swag fanboy. So when I ask this question, it is a little bit tongue in cheek, but in the bag, don't think there's many head covers that look quite as good as that. And then you've also got like specialist driver head covers as well. This is a, the, the Boston strikeout one, that um, Boston Red Sox when they famously beat the New York Yankees. Um, and I've always had a bit of an affinity to uh, Boston Red Sox. As you can uh, probably see with the cap there, Boston Red Sox all the way. There's no doubt you can doubt the quality. I've used this driver head cover for the last year and really it's still much pretty pristine. So I've played about 30 rounds this year and the same probably goes for my head covers. Probably had about 20 rounds that has, but no marks on the leather, no marks on the paint, no no fraying of the stitching. So in terms of a quality, you can't knock swag, which again, is why I'm really surprised the, the price that they are. So don't get me wrong, this works for me because I love the brand, I like what they do, love the head covers. So for me, I've picked up these head covers really quite cheap, so £55 for the putter head cover and then £60 for the driver head cover. Um, the putter head cover actually was brand new um, and the driver head cover, from all accounts, was just shop soil to just being on show. Now there's a particular story behind this putter that I actually have. So the Swag, handsome one, undressed putter, one of 50, like I said. This is the only one in the country. Now, I previously owned this, and it was in the what's in the bag previously, but <laughs> I needed the money. I tried to sell it, uh, 450, 400, 350, 300. I needed the money because we've had some unexpected bills, and I ended up cutting it loose for 220. <laughs> I am ashamed to say I've had to buy it back and it's cost me a little bit more, it cost me 30 quid more, so 250 all said and done. <sighs> there is other putters on there that haven't sold and have been on there for probably about three months. So again, amazing head cover, one of one shaft. Uh, you, if you don't buy it, you're never going to see it again. And yet they're just not selling. Uh, so in terms of performance, and we'll go through that in a minute, it's exactly like a Scotty Cameron. There's nothing fancy going on, cut from a block of aluminium. But for me, they're a little bit more special than a Scotty. Scotty are quite a big company. They're churning out thousands and thousands of putters. I think it's quite cool that this putter's only one of 50. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> if you do want it, it's on eBay currently, but it's for a, it's a collector's item. Why? Why aren't they selling for more money? That's what I want to know. Ooh, got a little bit lucky there. It's a little bit tad risky, but the result was good. And initially, when I bought this putter, it was for this exact distance here. Now, 
there is a little bit of a problem. I do tend to run out of talent when it gets to <laughs> holdable putts. And I've obviously done decades. If you look at my previous content, so as luck would have it, that's pretty much eight feet. Now, they reckon that PGA Tour are 50-50 from this position. So I'm going to have four shots. I'm going to have four putts. I'm going to see how I get on. Oh, oh, oh. Get the ball as it went past that. I would have been to. Oh, no. Firstly, I don't mind that. I hit the first two puts were in, the second ball did clip the put ball and didn't go in. But the other ones were dead weight. So that's kind of all I'm looking in a putter, just to try and get the ball the right weight. Now that's something I have notoriously struggled with. And I did toy, and I did have previously, for a couple of months, a lab putter. I do believe in lie angle balance, but I tend to have putters a little bit over length to like counterbalance. And I am toying with the idea of having broom handle. And again, statistically, not really doing anything different to probably what somebody would have done off my handicap. So at a, th at a four puts from that distance, it is likely that I'll probably three put. Now, <laughs> it might be that uh, that's just me. My putting from that distance is, is pretty weak and it doesn't really matter what putter I use. So I suppose the question stands, is a Scotty more special than something like a swag? Is a Scotty more special than a lab putter? Or have these new companies that have just come through in the last 10 years got something about them? Is there something to having something that's just different to everyone else? Or do you guys prefer to be part of the crowd, part of the, say, the big uh, OEMs like TaylorMade, Callaway, Tightness? Or are you more inclined to try some different brands, maybe even some direct consumer, which in a fashion swag were since they teamed up with Club Champion and it's changed a little bit because you can obviously get them from Club Champion now. But even companies like Clubs for Cash are starting to buy the swag putters second hand because they realise there is a little bit of value there. They can sell them for say more premium price. Although this putter that I've shown on screen now, um, listed for £400, brand new, still got the cellophane on uh, with a little bit of a deal on eBay. I think it's £60 off, so that's still sitting there, about three forty. If you were to get imported from America, say if you're in the UK, you're looking at about 500 quid for that putter, so even though it's brand new, still not shifting at that price, although, or, or should I say, not quickly. Interested to know your thoughts, uh, just thought I'd do a quick video about it. Um, I love my swag, uh, but if you're trying to sell, it's pretty tough at the moment.